Freezing is the process of a substance changing from a liquid state to a solid state. For example, imagine freezing water in an ice tray. On the left, we have liquid water. And on the right, the water is formed into solid ice, which is formed after freezing. So what process is the opposite of freezing? Well, melting is the process of a substance changing from a solid state to a liquid state. For example, think of an ice lolly. An ice lolly starts out as a solid, but when it's left out in the sun, it melts. The solid then turns into a liquid. You aren't expected to know examples of freezing and melting outside of water for your exam, but you should be able to recognise and describe them when they're given to you. So what exactly causes substances to melt or freeze? Well, substances in a solid state melt when they're heated and gain thermal energy. So ice and water are the same substance, but in different states. Ice is melted when heat is supplied and there's a gain in thermal energy. This could be from direct heating or just being left in a warm room. Substances in a liquid state freeze when they're cooled and lose thermal energy. So water is frozen when it's left in a cold environment and there's a heat flow away from the water. So freezing and melting are caused by changes in thermal energy. So how exactly does this relate to temperature? Well, the melting point of a substance in its solid state is the temperature at which it will melt when heated. So the melting point of water is zero degrees Celsius. The melting point of water is actually used to help define the Celsius scale for temperature. A change of state occurs when the temperature goes from below zero to above zero and ice will melt to form water. It is also the temperature at which a substance in the solid state will freeze when cooled. So a change of state also occurs when the temperature goes from above to below zero and the liquid water will freeze to form ice. You are expected to know the melting point of water in your exam. So is zero degrees the melting point for all substances? Well, actually, different substances will have different melting points. For example, the melting point of oil is approximately minus 20 degrees C. And the melting point of steel is approximately 1510 degrees C. Because of melting points, oil will be a liquid at room temperature, whereas steel will be a solid. You aren't expected to know any melting points besides that of water in your exam, but you might need to use given melting points to compare behaviours of substances. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.